What's going on, everybody? It's Jack. Uh, I figured I'd do something a little different, actually, this time. I mean, I don't have any gameplay or anything like that. It's the off season, but social media has been doing Madden Day, right? And everyone's sharing their their stories for Madden and John Madden and the influence the game and he's had on people. And this isn't sponsored by EA like some people's, but I figured, you know what? I, I don't I don't vlog, so this is kind of a cool thing for me, kind of a different thing for me. And just kind of what Madden did and has done in, as a part of my life. I mean, I started playing when I was a child. I'm talking like four on the Sega Genesis. So for perspective, I've played every Madden since the second one that was on a console. It, it's that cover right, right there. But I was playing my dad with the all Madden 99 overall team. They, they'd be black and gray really Raider-ish, right? Because it's John Madden's all Madden team. And eventually I started beating him and my dad stopped playing Madden. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but all the same though, I, I started playing at such a young age, right? And I played all the time. And then eventually, obviously watching football, growing up watching football, playing Madden, uh, watching in the living room with my grandfather. And he'd always tell me, that I knew more about the game than most of the coaches and that most people. And I could remember rosters down to the 53rd man and routes and route combinations and coverages as like an eight, nine year old child. Uh, but then eventually I, I stopped watching with him because I couldn't sit around and deal with the smell of cigarette smoke. And he quit smoking because he wanted to watch games with me. So in a lot of ways that, Madden helped him quit smoking in a roundabout way. But then I got older and I got more competitive. Started playing online in uh, 2005. And I'm talking every year I was getting a new game after that, right? My grandfather would buy it for my birthday because it came out around August, late August birthday. So he would just be like, here's, here's the cash or here's the game. Uh, and then 05 I was playing online. And then 06 was the first year that... I competed in a Madden challenge, and I was a child. I mean, I was a child compared to the guys I was playing against. I'm talking grown men, and I was not able to drive. And I got my ass kicked. And I tell you what, nothing makes a competitive person more competitive than getting their ass handed to them and wanting to prove other people wrong. And I... Went back after every year after that. It was at the stadium, right? So we, we drove down to Raymond James Stadium, playing in like their little like breezeway area with 30, 40, 50, 60, however many televisions are set up there with consoles and games and the crowd of people. Anyway, had all those people at the stadium on an off week, right, during the season. Usually the bye week, right? That's how they kind of did their, their pattern. And then, uh, Kept doing that, getting a little better every year, right? Still playing online, still playing online. And then went off to college and then had my best run at a tournament, uh, MLG Orlando. So the 2009-2010, I, I missed out on top cut by like one game. I, uh, I lost a secret. Uh, it, was, it was a tough game. I mean, I, I lost, it was like one possession. That was the year of strong, close, off-tackle and uh, tight flex off tackle. I think it was uh, Tennessee's playbook, I think, had that. I think that's what he ran anyway, if I remember correctly. Tennessee, strong, close, tight flex, off tackle, dive, off tackle, dive, Chris Johnson. Yeah, it was it was a pain, obviously. And, and I was I was running, like, spread trips tight end, like, tight slots, because I, I was competitive, but I wasn't, like, super meta at that point. Like, I wasn't, like, really, like, tuned into, like, that sort of thing. Because I didn't have, like, the connections of people. I was just playing online like everybody else, right? Just play online, play online, get better, get better, and just hope you're good enough at the time, right? And then, obviously, um, the last tournament and the last, like, time I was really, like, serious about Madden, I guess, would have been, uh, would have been Jacksonville. Uh, I had made it to day two, and I was, uh, I was playing Stevie J. Uh, he beat me. Uh, I, I had, I had him blown out. I was, I was winning. <laughs> Most of E and B was behind watching, uh, him get the doors blown off. Um, 
And there was a glitch where he kicks a field goal and the clock's still running after it doinks off the crossbar or the camera or whatever. Clock's running. And so because the clock's running and there's it's a game glitch, we got to kind of reset and get back to a point where we were, like, like right back to there. So all the momentum that had been brought in, everything, like, right, it kind of kind of stopped. And it gave him a chance to go talk with his crew and figure out some defense for what I was running. Uh, shout out to you, Trips, and uh, Trips Tight End, uh, audibling back and forth. Shout out to that. Uh, but, again... If it's not for that game glitch, I win that game. And I win that game, I'm in that room. And so I, I think about that a lot, how a quick little game glitch could have drastically altered things for me. I don't know what would have happened. I, I don't know. Because I lose that game, and I'm in my car driving to a 7-Eleven to get gas. And I get a phone call. And it's my friend who's like, frantic and he's just like dude like are like are you there and i was like what do, what do you mean like, like what, what like i'm literally like at the pump <laughs> and he, he just tells me what what happened and i'm just like no like i'm like a, two blocks away um literally pulling into a gas station to get on the highway to go home and i just think about how very close i was to still being there in that room and a little funky game glitch is is probably what saved my life and I, that that's crazy to think about because i had no idea obviously like my friend's like dude like do you know what just happened and i'm like like i have no idea and i'm just like in, and i'm just in shock because i'm literally just getting gas to go home and if I had stayed after I had lost and I just wasn't like, you know what, I'm going to get an early start, get home so I can get a full night's sleep in my own bed. If I had just hung around, right, chilling, who knows what would have happened? Or if I had won the game, how long I would have had to wait till my next game? Who knows? But it, it's crazy when you look back and even now, I mean, because of the game, like how many people and like some of the my best friends because of the game it, it's actually kind of ridiculous when you think about it how just something so simple as like playing a video game can can bring everybody and like different people together that you would have never in a million years have met otherwise and it's it's really cool and it's because of the game it's because of madden it's because of football i mean it's because of madden and because of football like i'm, I'm coaching football like <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm a head coach like for a middle school now. I mean, it's it's different. I mean, looking back as like a child, right? And my grandfather yelling at me that I know more about football than everybody else, and here I am teaching football to children and having them compete and trying to win games. And that that was our first win, first game last year. Um, we'll be uh we'll be better next year though. I can tell you that we'll be better. But it's crazy like to think about like what a video game has done for so many people and so many things and just his impact on everybody you don't really think about like the reach beyond like if you've never met somebody or like you know that sort of thing because everybody else like as a, as a player right you see all the videos of like former like nfl players be like oh yeah like i met madden and like did this or even like developers of of the game are like yeah we sat down we watched film with john and it's like well yeah but for everybody else like there was still a huge impact that i don't think people can measure and so i think that's something that that sticks with me because there's no way in hell i'd be coaching if it wasn't for madden and football from when i was a child there's no, no way i'd be coaching today obviously obviously it's different because it's real life and real kids and stuff like that <laughs> and don't get it twisted they are very different things a video game and real football are are different but the influence of one which led to the other i don't think can be understated i think that's that's something that that sticks with me and obviously the uh 
the relationships, like the family relationships, my dad driving me to tournaments. <laughs> I mean, driving down to like GameStop down in Tampa because I had qualified for like the third round of some GameStop tournament or like the midnight tournaments and this dweeb walks in screaming like, I have my own controller. like who? And it's just like, it's still a running joke with my dad and, and me and my brother because like this dweeb walks in and is like, oh, I, I don't need your controller. Like I brought my own. It's like, okay, you're, you're cool. You, you, you still got 21 owed, but <laughs> whatever floats your boat, I guess. So stuff like that, it's just, it sticks with me because like it's definitely a family thing. Like my dad driving me to tournaments as a kid because I couldn't drive. Watching games with my grandfather, him buying me the game. And obviously now with me coaching and teaching kids. And it, that's something that sticks with me. And so uh, that that's my Madden story. It it still is. It, it's still going because I've got to get ready for summer mini camp and next year. So it's my Madden story right now, but still more to go. Until next time.